Well, hello, YouTube. It's been a little while, but I'm trying to get back in the swing of making videos and doing my live stuff again. I now have my own space with a nice desk that I use for my office and stuff, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. Get back on that soon. But I wanted to uh, do some video. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what the date is today. I want to say it's the 9th. Today's November the 9th. It's Monday. And, uh, we have a couple no cooling calls. Yes, that's right. I said no cooling. The temperature has spiked up above 80 again. That's why we're, it's about 83, 84 today. And, uh, that's why we have these no cooling calls. I got two of them that came in. Uh, one of them I should be able to get some film on. The other one I won't. It's a lady that I've taken care of before. And, and we, uh, she's a helicopter. For those of you that don't know what a helicopter is, first of all, let's give props to Ted Cook. Ted Cook is the one that came up with that name. And a, heli a helicopter customer is a customer that stays right on top of you a helicopter hover over you, you know, that, but Ted Cook came up with that, so, she's a major helicopter, she will literally stand over my shoulder and watch everything I'm doing, but it's a brand new system, um, not, I didn't put it in, but it is a new system, every time I go over there, it's something stupid, or nothing's even wrong, so, but I won't be able to get any film on that. The other one, they said, it's just not cooling. They turned it on today because it got warm. You know, like I said, it's about 83, 84 degrees, and it's warm. And they said, it is not cooling at all. So I'm stopping right here to get some fuel because my fuel light is on. Pulling up to the gas pump. Fuel up the truck. And then we will go see what we got on this uh, no cooling call. No connection fan motor. us a train two TTB three ton 13 sear all right let's uh I haven't grabbed my bag yet let me see if I can uh, there's no stick or anything I'd like to spin that blade see if that blade is seized up so we most definitely have a bad condenser fan motor here. You can see, i take my nut driver here. It, it doesn't move. See that? Yeah, she's, she's, she's stuck. It's a 825, a sixth horse. All right, we're gonna see if the train store has one in stock. All right, train does have the motor in stock. I believe I'm the one that put that capacitor on there. So before somebody gets their panties in a bunch, we will check it. and check the hermetic side too. But that motor is seized up. So common a fan we want five and we've got it and then common to hermetic hermetic we want 45 and we got it okay so i gotta go tell them what's going on give them a price and then uh we'll go from there 
All right, so the blade came right off, no issues. They've approved the OEM motor. Always, anytime I run into a condenser motor, as long as the unit's in good shape and it's not a piece of junk that's all tore up, I am always gonna offer the OEM motor. I just, I like OEM motors. They're designed for that unit and they work better. Now, if it's an old beat up piece of crap that they didn't take care of and you know, it just is falling apart, you know, of course I'll just throw a universal. But the unit's in good shape. You know, they have maintenance done on it. Blade came right off. We're gonna go to the train store, get a motor. And uh, for those of you out there, I'll show y'all something that I learned from Ted Cook. That's what YouTube's all about. Ted's a big train guy. He knows a lot of tricks. Getting this conduit out of here and can be a pain. You know, you gotta lift it, you gotta take these screws out. And not all of them, but some of them. And if you pull this out, it can be a really big pain to get back in place. So I cut the wires on the motor and I will tie the new wires to this one with some tape and pull them through. That way I don't have to fool with this. And we'll pull them right through the cabinet here. Cause you see the conduit's way up there. And it can be a really pain to mess with on these units. So uh, we're also gonna check the refrigerant charge because they said they had to have a pound added a couple pounds added. It turns out it was not me that was here. I've been in this neighborhood before, but it turns out it's not this house. She said the last guy that came changed the capacitor and he put a couple pounds of Freon. So we're gonna check the Freon and uh, after we get the motor on. So one thing I do like about the train OEM is this right here. There's no studs. It's some little quarter inch bolts. And there's no threads in the motor, which is weird. They just kind of like, I guess it makes threads. That's the best prop I could get on the phone. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Drain plugs are already out. <clears throat> this can be a little cantankerous. Getting the first one started.
Now we'll do Ted's wire trick. Okay, so we've used Ted's trick with the uh, the old common wire with some tape, and I'm gonna kind of help it along a little bit. I'm gonna come in here and grab this black wire. Oh. Grab this black wire right here. And pull it on through. I can see them coming. Look at that. Big shout out to Ted Cook for that tip. Makes life a lot easier. Okay, I'm gonna plug up three wires, turn it over, screw it down, and fire this baby up. Okay, everything's buttoned up. Got some zip ties in it, on it. Nice, clean looking job. Let's see what happens. Oh, wrong way. There we are. Beautiful. Sounds like a train. Train has that distinctive sound compared to other brands. At least to me, they do. They sound just a little different. All right, so everything looks good in here. Everything's nice and tight. I'm gonna clean up my mess, let the unit stabilize, and uh, probably just throw a quick gauge on it real quick, make sure that the Freon, that the suction pressure doesn't look off. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, everything looks good. I put the stub gauge on it, and um, the suction pressure looks good. So I have no reason to suspect that the charge is off in any way. So before, uh, by the time I went in there and did my billing and collected and all that, it had already dropped at like two degrees. So we're looking good. I just had two more come in. Like I said, the temperature went up today. So if I can get one up, well, no, I had two more come in besides the helicopter. So if I can get some film on one of those, I, I'll definitely do it. But uh, okay, um, thank y'all for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one.